And there are a tree you don't see at very many nurseries anymore. The calorie pear tree and its variations are all over with ongoing efforts to remove them happening around the state. Case and Spain Snyder spoke to the Kansas Forest Service and a local nursery about why and why they're dangerous. Jasmine, they were purchased as landscaping for their desirable qualities, like their appearance and spring bloom, but their drawbacks quickly became apparent, the most obvious being the smell. But the Forest Service say their problem in the sunflower state grows much deeper. I hate to cut down trees, uh, but if, if they're causing problems, then it, it has to be dealt with. Going beyond the smell. It also has kind of a more ominous nature to it. Um, they grow so aggressively that they will uh, push out uh, native vegetation and disrupt uh, natural ecosystems. Calorie pear trees are spreading, and the Kansas Forest Service encourage cutting back and cutting down. Next year, offering a buyback program for your trees. These trees that were um, initially uh, and independently sterile have found a way to cross pollinate because of these different cultivars that have been developed, including Bradford pear. I think the real appeal of the pears is when you drive around and you see all of these big blooming white trees covered in white flowers. Ryan Johnson with Johnson's Garden Center knows the tree well. You know, we do have uh, quite a few people coming in looking for better options. He says beyond their environmental impact, the calorie pears simply aren't suited for the state. For Kansas, at least, it's just it's very structurally not sound for our winds. The branching structure, you can lose half that tree in a, in a heavy windstorm. But deciding to chop down your calorie pear tree doesn't mean you're without options. There, we've got some plums over here. I like a, a nice, like a cold party or something like that. Options that are good for your garden and good for the state. Next year is when the Kansas Forest Service's buyback program will be re-implemented from last year. But trees removed this year can still be eligible in 2026 if proof is provided. Here for you, Peyton Steiner, KSN News 3.